Girl Kiara, and we're back with another video. And so today is going to be putting yourself first, part two. And so before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell notification button just so you know the next time that I post my next video. So let's get into the video. Today we're going to be talking about putting ourselves first. So we ended it off. We started it off, you know, last video on putting ourselves first, and I've just been doing a lot of thinking and allow myself to practice what I was preaching, you know. And so that's just me being honest and transparent with you guys to let you know that even though I'm making these videos, even though I'm I'm sharing my journey with you guys, I'm still currently going through the things that I'm trying to also learn with you guys. So um, learning how to be patient with Kiara, learning how to how to not beat myself up about things that honestly it's just not in my control and stop looking at things as I wasted my time on this person or that person and look at it as a bigger picture you know as a whole whole and we have to understand that people come in our lives for a reason to help us become who we want to be but it's up to us on what path that we choose and and where we want to go what doors that we want to open everything is up to us at the, end of, at the end of the day, it's up to us to decide on where we want our next chapter to be, what what we want tomorrow to look like, what we want our whole our, a year from now, two years from now. We are we are the answer. We try to sit there and find the answer with other people, but then we have to realize that the answer is within ourselves. And <laughs> I am finally starting to really believe that I'm the answer. I make my decisions. Nobody else makes my decisions but Kiera. You know, life can become a, a blur and it, be, it can become just so chaotic if you don't allow yourself to just sit down and just think for a moment take a t take just take time out for yourself to just really like meditate or just sit in silence anything to take a break to check out find that one day where you can just fully just only it, that day is only just about you and you only it's not about nobody else but just you and really dedicate that and apply that into your daily routine every day to take out time for yourself every day. Every day, take out however 30 minutes here, maybe reading a book, maybe exercise, you know, anything. You know, find things to better you, to, to get your mind off of things, to where you can fully have a clear mind on things. I was given some things to work on for myself and to help me be able to get out the mindset that I've been in and also help me with my depression. I just slipped back into a little bit of depression all over again. But this time I knew I knew how to handle it. You know, I knew how to handle it and I knew that I didn't want to go back to that dark place again. So I didn't allow myself to fully go to go in that mind space. But I was like just blanking out like and this is recent. This is me being open with you guys where it's just like something happened to me. Not happened to me, but basically I came to a realization of some things. And it's not a bad thing at all. It's not bad. You know, everything happens for a reason. And we find out information for a reason in order for us to be able to move on. Sometimes those things could be just like mind blowing where you don't even know what to do. I sat there and I thought like these things are the way that they are because you didn't fully allow yourself to heal. You didn't allow yourself to take time from that last situation and fully heal and 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 nurture you 
and help you fully find Kiera, you are still trying to add people in that mix of trying to find Kiera because you were so afraid to be alone. You were so afraid to be by yourself, to be just without someone, being afraid of losing people or what if I don't get this and what if it doesn't work out this way and and having a control issue like I always want to be in control of things and I had to learn that we can't be in control we have to learn how to allow things to go flow in the way that it's supposed to flow you are going with the flow of how the water is supposed to go it's easier for you to go that way but whenever you're trying to go against the water it's a lot harder for you to go where you're supposed to go because you're trying to go against what your what what is really meant for you because you're so afraid to allow these things to just to let go to let go and allow things to happen in the way that it's supposed to happen and not be afraid. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be like, okay, but what if what if it doesn't work out this way? What if it doesn't end up in the way that I want it to end up? And it's just like, no, like you have to focus on how is this going to better me? What am I learning from this to where I can become a better me for the person that is supposed to come in my life you know it could be that same person it could not be that same person it could be something completely new it could be the same person and they sat down and they was able to really work on themselves and they they were also willing to love on themselves and and figure out things within them and it could be they could come in your life and you could get some type of i don't know closure from it just maybe you know you just never know um i just know that once i realized that the reason why why my you know my life is the way that it was is because i wasn't allowing myself to let go of the people that i needed to let go i wasn't allowing myself to move forward in the way that i was supposed to move forward i was trying to have control over it i was trying to i was trying to direct where it needed to go versus allowing it to direct me and show me the way show me the path and and help guide me and and trust it and learning to know that whoever comes in my life whether it's a relationship whether it's just relationships period anybody coming into my life to learn and I also want you guys to learn this too, because I've I do this a lot, and I've learned this as I've been going through my my different things of learning things about myself. That I I sit there and I put my faith into people before they even show me who they really are. I I re I just I jump into it. I love hard. I love so hard to the point to where that person hasn't even showed me that they deserve that love. You know what I'm saying? That they deserve that side of me. That they deserve my energy or anything that comes with me. You know what I'm saying? You have to treat yourself like a prize. It's a lot, y'all, where I'm really happy now. I'm actually genuinely happy now because I'm allowing myself to just let things go and allow myself this new chapter, you know, and just embrace what's happening right now. Trust my instincts, you know, trust your instincts, trust your judgment. Talk, you know, saying I've been like talking to myself and just manifesting things really manifest it and and writing it down because i want the things that i want to come to life you know and i've been focusing on those things versus focusing on the things that you know that are falling apart in my life i'm working on focusing on the positive things that are happening because those positive things outweigh the negative things that are happening around me in my life and give yourself permission to unfold and bloom and grow you know, give yourself that because you deserve that. If you don't, if you don't feel like you deserve anything, you do. You deserve the world. Don't ever make nobody feel like that you don't deserve the world because you do. You deserve to be happy just as much as the next person, next person deserves to be happy. But you have to be happy with you first.
build that relationship with you first before you allow yourself to build it with others. And if you do decide to build it with others while you're building it with, you know, while you're working on yourself, like if you're married or if you're already in a relationship with somebody right now and you're trying to find you and you don't want to lose who you're with, communicate, you know, communicate to the point where they'll know where you're at. And you'll know if they understand, if they don't understand, because, you know, there's people that understand what we're going through and there's people that that may not understand, but they're willing to understand. They're willing to try to get through it with you, you know, help you figure it out. They're willing to do those things. And it's important to have that type of partner in your life. And so I want you to sit there and I want you to write down I want you to write this down in your journal so as we're as I'm going through these different things I would I want y'all to do and then I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put it down below to where y'all can see these different things so we're gonna do something new today so I want y'all to tell me you know write down where am I at this morning okay that's what we, that's our first one where am I at this morning where do I want to be you know what makes me happy and and what ways do I need to change to where I can grow and become a better me but I also want you to sit there and list out we're gonna list five things or more that are holding you back what are the five things that are holding you back right now or more things you know list out whatever you want to list out but I just give myself a good five and I'm gonna share so I'm on with you guys. So one of them was doubt. Um, just not having doubt about things and just trusting that this process is going to benefit me. You know, my decisions that I'm making is going to benefit me in the long run. And then another one was myself, you know, uh, I guess that's, that comes in with doubt. But I also tend to talk down on myself. I use words that I shouldn't use towards myself and I need to work on that of course I need to work on that I need to work on speaking positive things to myself loving on myself a lot more and then another thing is trust um allowing myself to just trust people don't allow what somebody did to you to change change you don't change you still love hard yeah it's gonna be hard yeah that's a lot it's a lot to ask for but in order for you to know what is for you you have to be willing to put yourself out there and also the unknown the unknown the what is the oh what if i do this what if it doesn't work like that oh my gosh then if y'all are like me okay so uh you know it's just I want y'all to figure out how you're going to show up for yourself, you know, and if you're not showing up for yourself right now, figure out how you can start. Let's let's start showing up for ourselves. Let's let's start finding the things of what we need to do to show up for ourselves. And, you know, I'll give you different bullet points right here of just like an example. We list out five things that are holding us back. Okay, now we're going to list out five things that we want to rearrange in our lives, that we want to to rearrange around us. What is something that I need to step away from? What is something that I need to sit there and let go of? What is something what is something that I need to let go of and and sit there and really think about those things of what you feel like you need to let go of? Because I feel like what I need to let go of is negative is, thoughts. I need to step away from thinking that things are going to be bad or assuming that they're not going to work out the way that I want it to work out. However you set your mind to be, that's what you're setting up everything else, everything else to be. So I'm learning to just really work on that and just really just try to like, not even try, do. Do the things that I need to do to work on me, to be a better me and continue with doing it and not going backwards. Continue with moving forward and all of those different things because that's what we're doing. We're doing and not trying. Okay, trying is going to be out of our vocabulary. We're not going to have try in our vocabulary. It's going to be a straight, oh, I did this. You're going to do this. Simple. 
And so, um, the more you tell yourself, I want you guys to know, the more you tell yourself how, how hard is something is going to be, you're setting it up for it to be hard. That's what you're setting it up for because you're telling yourself that. So the more you tell yourself that, that's what it's going to end up being hard. And it wasn't even really hard, but you made it hard because your mind was thinking that it was going to be hard. Why do we do to, do that to ourselves? I have no clue, you guys. I really don't. I'm trying to learn that now because I, I do that. I'll sit there and I'll make up a whole scenario in my head and it wasn't even that. Like, come on now, Kira. With making decisions, I've been learning to not go off of impulse. And I've been learning to sit there and actually think about it. Really think about what it is that I want to say and finding the right words to say what I want to say. I also have been, been making sure that I don't be immature about things because you we have to work on our maturity. We have to work on how we say things. It's not what you say, it's how you say it at the end of the day. And how we communicate with ourselves, the things that we say to ourselves, we have to be very careful with how we talk to ourselves and how we treat ourselves. And learning not to carry burdens that are not yours if it's not your if it's not for you to carry it don't carry it don't carry something that's not meant for you to carry don't put something on you that's not meant to be put on you don't take on other people's problems while you're still in the process of trying to figure out your own problems don't do that don't do that to yourself because i i do that i ended up doing i i am a energy based person big energy based person and it's so bad to the point to where I don't care who you are or who, whoever you are in my life, you impact me. And I feed off of energy and I can end up running myself dry, like I said in the last video, I'm running my own battery down because I'm not a, I'm not giving my, myself time and space to allow what I want to allow. Give space in there to be... I don't be in control in the times where I need to be in control. That that be the part that really angers me, you know, and it makes me be upset with myself. But then that's whenever, you know, we're all human. So this is me just being honest. Like I, I get upset with myself whenever I do that because it's just like I know that that's not me, and I know that I'm I am working on myself. I'm healing. I'm going through a process right now, and I need to be nice to myself as I'm going through this process, as I'm going through this healing, and as I, I'm I'm allowing myself to let go of things and to move forward and and to pick being happy over anything. Pick being genuinely happy, not happy because. I'm, I chose what I wanted to choose to be happy in that moment. No, just genuinely just happy. Genuinely happy with myself. Genuinely happy with where I'm at in life. And I've been really loving me, you know, loving Kiara, been taking care of myself and really sitting there and not allowing myself to talk down on myself no more not allowing myself to sit there and put my own self down because we be so focused on how other people's words hurt us and how that person said this and this person said that but what are you saying to yourself what are you saying to yourself how are you really talking to yourself really sit there and think about that what type of words do you choose to use towards yourself not saying that it's all the time that you that you put yourself down but if you if we really sit there and think about it, we put ourselves down way more than any than somebody else will put us down. We have to stop doing it. It's time to change. It's time to it's time to start changing it. It's time to start wanting better for you. It's, it's time to it's time it's time to turn that page. And it's time to allow yourself to turn that page. It's okay. I'm gonna be here with you. We here. Trust me, we are here. That's why I say comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to DM me personally or you just want to talk to me or just have any questions or you just want somebody to talk to, period. I'm always here. I would love to talk to to, to y'all, you know, help y'all through y'all situations, give advice, different things like that. That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm, I'm this is this is why I'm sharing me, you know, 
I may me I may not be giving y'all all my business, okay? <laughs> but I give y'all just a little bit, just just a, enough where y'all can help you, you know? And enough where I can do these videos and help y'all move forward with loving on yourself and 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 watching how you talk to yourself. So, give y'all some self-love affirmations okay. that read y'all the self-love affirmations okay this is i want y'all to write these down of course i'm gonna put them here as we go but okay i deserve all good things i am worthy i am capable i forgive myself for my past mistakes okay that's important i am enough i deserve respect i am capable i choose to stop apologizing for who I am, period. To, I apologize for, I, I mean, okay, I choose to stop apologizing for being me. Same thing, but I, I wrote down for being me. <laughs> and then I release negative self-talk. I love the person I am. I love the person I am becoming. That's also very important too that y'all want to say to yourselves. Y'all don't have to say it in these orders exactly. I'm just going to put them as, as I go for y'all to just, Put it in the order that you want to put it. Add more if you want to add more. Um, and then I believe in myself and my abilities. Okay, so that's the last one. And so you know, I hope you guys got something out of this video and this it really helped you today. And I just want you to know that you are the answer to all of your problems. Trust yourself. You're going to get through this. You're making, make decisions based off of what you want to do for you. I really hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got something out of this video and this it really helped you today. Peace, love, and blessings to you guys. I hope y'all have a great, great, great day. Today's Saturday for me, but I hope y'all have an amazing Sunday. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm. Jamal, 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 Jamal.